YouTubers, thanks for tuning in onto my YouTube channel. And yes, this is, a, this is basically a video which I would literally call this a vlog because I've got my face around. Normally, I don't often make videos like this, though, and I think it's been quite a while though. I think the last time I did a vlog like this was, um, I think it was the thunderstorm video that I did though. But, well, obviously, I don't know what to say though, but contrast to this, guess what? Today is actually nice but also hot outside though. In fact, it's cooking hot or roasting hot outside though and we had some cracking hot days recently day on uh, I think it was about Friday and Saturday I nearly said Thursday didn't I day but yes I have to say that we had temperatures climbing up over 30 degrees Celsius there and I have to say I can really compare those temperatures easily to that of Jakarta, Indonesia, Bangkok and Thailand Kuala Lumpur and Malaysia or even Singapore but there's one other place that I've actually chose to become a lot more interesting I don't know why I have to speak louder because there's people in the background there but I don't know about you oh did you see that the doors just came up from the behind me right? I just saw it though but uh, you know what quite amazing isn't it eh? whenever you have events like that I didn't realize there was someone jumping at me though but it's quite amazing I have to say eh? but uh, anyways I'm just gonna show you what's inside um, actually not inside though it's just a poster though and this is what I've actually planned though it's a Vietnamese 2021 event though so remember when I did Thailand 2020 uh, I actually thought of Vietnam 2021 and the reason why I've chosen is because well Vietnam rhymes with the number number one obviously though you know 2021 Vietnam they sound similar don't they that's a bit of a rhyme eh? And here are the characters I've actually got there, they're all birds, just like what I did with the Thailand 2020 event. And uh, with, I think this is the main character here, this peacock character, I'm going to call him Spaldy, because obviously he has got some inspirations from the game Baldy, from, you know, the character Baldy from Baldy's Basics. You know what I mean, like, you know, oh, hi, welcome to my schoolhouse. And uh, i got to tell you what, he's actually quite a nice looking character, obviously, though, to create there. I believe that's his prototype, though. And uh, we also have Jennifer as well, that's the peahen, which I presume is Spaldy's wife, I believe so, but um, Spaldy's actually a hybrid between an Indian peacock and a green peacock from Java, Indonesia day. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's called the Spaulding Peafowl, I think that hybrid day. It's also named after a bird fancier in California called Spaulding, who created this hybrid and also a town in Lincolnshire I think it's also called Spalding as well so that's where the name you know that's where the name Spalding came from okay so apart from the two main peafowl characters I believe these are prototype designs we'll get to the official design later one day we've got Keith the Reef Hornbill on this corner here on the right on the top right corner and you've got a red wattled lapwing I'm gonna call him I'm actually gonna call him Flapples you know, flapping was the red wattled lapwing because when they fly they make that weird flapping, lapping sound. It's like they're lapping their wings and stuff. I think that's what they're called, eh? And we also have these two songbird characters. They're quite tiny. We've got Brogan, the black and red broadbill. I think that's what this bird is called. They're a little bit bigger than this bird here. It's a Vietnamese green finch and I'm going to call him Vinny. Quite amazing character names, eh? And if you don't know why there's a hole in that poster, today. Eh? because I was originally going to release that event on mid-June but there was not many heat waves uh, only the 16th of June was quite disappointing though so I chose 16th of July I can't believe it four weeks depriving of myself of getting hot weather though amazing isn't it eh? in the summer uh, 16th of July quite amazing and speaking of Vietnamese 2021 event items though here's my first one today eh? it's called Spaldy and Jennifer at Peacock Gardens Courtship Wedding 5 Pack, which costs about £7. And there you go, it also runs until Boxing Day, which is, I believe, after Christmas. And there you go, there's the back of the packaging there, and there's that very strange information on the top there. It says, Check out our Vietnam 2021 content on YouTube. Pop up anytime at the Flip Up channel, created by Ivan Lee, to see more new and current Vietnam 2021 videos. Best before the 31st of December 2021. Oh, crikeys, I feel like I could just, you know, do animations of that. That'd be amazing, eh? Uh, I don't know about you, but I have to say that this video is going to be one of the more, much more complex ones, I have to say, because I've had loads and loads of outtakes, and I have to take advantage with the hot weather, though, eh? But anyways, let me take a look at Spaldy first. Here we are, looking at Spaldy. He's got a nice-looking peacock model, eh? 
And obviously he's got the tail feathers at the back there, which I'll call them as the train. He's got those Pac-Man like eyes at the back there. But his actual eyes are actually on his sides. Oh, hi. Welcome to my new Gordon. <laughs> That's quite nice, eh? He's also got this lovely crest on the top, eh? And the best thing you can do is that you can actually spread his feathers. He actually acts like an accordion, that one, eh? Like a freaking accordion. Um, and it also opens like that. Okay, that's what peacocks do. And there's the back, just wee detailing. It's also got those wings and where the peacock eyes on the feathers are, eh? Yeah, they're just markings on the peacocks. It looks quite nice, eh? And uh, mind you, it doesn't look too bad, eh? I love the wing detailing. It's lovely blue and brown colour combinations on the feathers, eh? Lovely green neck as well. And grey bottom section here as well. It looks nice. It actually looks lovely and nice, I have to say. It looks beautiful, that one. And here we have... Jennifer, which is, I believe, is a, um, she's a peahen, obviously, eh? Um, got those crests on the top, got a nice green tail at the back. Yeah, again, she looks very nicely detailed, though, obviously, though. Well, obviously, being a peahen, well, looks quite nice. And that's a bit of a comparison. That's a bit of a kiss, eh? <laughs> I have a funny feeling that, um, Jennifer is actually a little bit taller than Spaldy. Which is quite weird, uh, apart from the tail. <laughs> Actually, I can use this tail to cool myself down in this hot sun. Which is quite interesting, eh? Fancy that one, eh? How about that? Very nice. And we've also got... Uh, it looks like a duck there, but it's actually a topiary bush or shrub modelled after a peacock. That's quite fancy, eh? Very, very nice, eh? And we've also got a couple of hearts. We've got a pink one, and we've also got a green one. Once again, something to represent a topiary bush or a shrub. Something quite interesting, eh? Well, it's quite a very simple set. Uh, there'll be more Vietnam 2021 products here coming along your way, though, hopefully towards next week. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, eh? As I'm taking advantage of the hot sun outside and all of the heat. Can't believe it, though. Uh, there you go. My first Vietnam 2021 product! Hooray! I might look forward to see the other characters and other videos and whatnot though, but I think the next product I should take a look at is something not that exotic. Is the Flip Flop Origami Flapping Birds British Wildlife Collection, Lesser Love at Girl, Adult and Subadult Further Molding, um, Flock at Marine Lake and Coastal Shore Top Pack, which costs about £12.50, and there's the back of the packaging, it looks like that. We've got a nice artwork here of some sea guys confronting with each other, eh? I don't know why though, but um, luckily enough. Looks quite nice, I'm just going to unpack what we have. I don't know why I'm talking real fast though, because I just want to take advantage of the fact that, you know what, sometimes my camera can easily play up easily, which isn't always a good sign. And you know what, that's pretty much who I am. But anyways, we've got, um, actually there's different fishies though, we've got, I believe these are cod. Okay, so it actually comes with two different fish, it actually comes with three different species of fish. Well two fish but in three separate different species though I believe these are whitings they look like small silvery cods to me though they look quite similar eh? pretty much when I was pretty much shopping though with my dad though it's quite confusing to tell which one's haddock and which one's cod pretty much for the fact they're just similar though it's probably the size though I don't know but uh, maybe you fish people are pretty much the ultimate experts or the ultimate ego of all people though but anyways uh, we've got some sea bass as well, I can tell from the green eyes and whatnot though. Okay, and stuff like that, eh? And Quacky O'Reilly, uh, since it's getting quite hot though, mm. I definitely need some water. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at these sea guys next. There's a bit of a summer treat. Obviously it's just an adult lesser blackback girl, which looks like that. It's got nice naming on the, on the bottom of its feet. Okay, and you've also got a sub-adult lesser blackback girl, I believe. Um, these wings have got like browning on them. Like, you know, some brown patches on them. That's pretty much on the remnants of what we had from juvenile girls, though. There you go, there's the name here, it's a sub-adult. Okay, which looks chronically nice, though. And uh, it looks quite interesting, I suppose, though. Ooh! Is this the same or is that look quite different eh, to me? Eh? Oh, I don't know. But um, we have got six of these, which is quite nice. And I presume this one here is a wintering one because it's got that, um, well, it's got a brown, dirty brown streaking on its head. Eh? There you go, there's the name here. 
Okay, so it looks chronically amazing, eh? And we've also got another sub adult lesser blackback girl. It looks pretty much similar to what we have seen before. With those wings. And uh, actually, it's not a wintering one. Obviously, only one of them is a wintering one. And this one, I, I presume, this one's more of a um, an adult. Obviously, we've got three of each, which is very, very nice. And we also have a wintering adult as well, which is pretty much, well, nice to hear though. Therefore, it looks quite nice, eh? There's the name. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad, I suppose, eh? And, um,. I think that product's done, eh? I have to say that um, it can be quite exhausting to do some toy reviews in a hot summer's day, but uh, I have made some new changes today. Eh? All of the seven days, especially what I'm going to be doing in August, particularly with the vlogging and stuff like that one, eh? I'm actually sort of thinking that all of the seven days are going to be pretty much video days of me doing toy reviews and whatnot, though. It really just depends eh, if I've got any time or whatnot, though. But anyways, let me just take a look at another Sega product because I know you guys are going to get completely and utterly bored. In fact, we've got three more. Oh my god. Okay, I think our first one here is... Oh, it's a dominant... Well, actually, it's the second one I've got there, eh? It's a dominant second winter lesser blackback girl versus um, adult lesser blackback girl. It's a five pack. And you get this, the back of the packaging there. Wow, that second winter lesser black black seagull looks like it's pretty much ticked off as he's running quite a bit faster, eh? And uh, speaking of fast, I'm actually gonna take what we have. And I've actually got more of those second winter lesser black black girls, but in a very different sort of detailing and design, eh? I think that's what they would normally look like, I think, with these designs like that. Okay, and uh, I don't know about you, uh, I have to say, it really is quite amazing. Mm. I have to say the wing detailing looks nice, I love the beak detailing as well, very very nice, and we've just got some adults here as well, in fact I don't know about you but maybe I should stop flapping those, I think that's probably about it, they're £6.99, it's not too bad eh, yeah I think all of them have names, they've all got the same detailing as well, that's that one done, alright let's move on to something a little bit much more complex today, we're going to take a look at this one here, it's another flip flop origami, but I think this British one clicks and toys. It's a lesser black that goes at Special Carp Pond 12 pack. There's the back of the packaging here. We've got some more crazy angry seagull activity there with those anime popping veins. Even that carp also looks pretty much, well, livid obviously, eh? That's one way to describe it, eh? Crocky O'Reilly, there's so many seagull products here, eh? I don't know when to stop. Quite crazy, isn't it, eh? And uh, we've got some carp here. Okay, so these are like golden carp. Okay, I've got three of these each. And one of them's just taken a dive. <laughs> no pun intended. And they look pretty nice, I have to say, of the facial designs on these fish. And they look good, I suppose, eh? They do look very nice. Very nice. And we also have some normal ones here as well. Uh, pardon me, I'm just pretty much at quite a... Well, just a normal breakfast, obviously, eh? And I'm just showing you the fish one by one. <laughs> one of them is just taking a dive, wheel, in fact, eh? And the trains I've got there, I've got Trackmaster Luke and Trackmaster Thomas. In fact, I'm not sure if you can see them there. There you go, there's Thomas here. And there's Luke. You probably know Luke, though. He's right behind me, though, eh? <laughs> uh, but anyways, I might show you some flapping seagulls next day. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm actually going to feel like that the adults are going to be taking quite a long time, mate. Eh? Yep, just the same. There you go. Just the same detailing, though, except maybe there could be a wintering one. Um, who knows? Maybe there might be some sort of wintering lesser black bat girl. Can't see which one's which. Pretty weird, isn't it, eh? And uh, pretty much they're all adults. Okay, so it looks quite amazing. Uh, anyways, let me just take a look at... Uh, one of the lesser black bat girls next day because I think we're going to be taking a look at the third winter ones obviously there you go and it looks quite different with those brown wing detailings there even on the top and the black tail end and also got a black beak tip there 
pretty much the remnants, the remnants of what we had from a juvenile gal. There you go, it's a third winter. Obviously it's got those brown streakings in the head there, that signifies me it's a wintering bird. But um, nevertheless it looks quite amazing though. I know they look the same but uh, don't get too pretty much uh, granted away from this though because I can definitely say I wouldn't take things granted though. The wing detailing looks a lot more, a little bit more browner than what I would say on the adult. Let's have like that seagulls though. Same thing with herring gulls as well, they also suffer the same fate. Um, I have to say, it looks chronically amazing uh, being with the seagulls and whatnot. There, they're just way too common, far too common. But I still feel like I need to do some more of it, eh? Because, well, we all love them, obviously. At the same time, oh my goodness me! But, anyways, let me move on to another one of those. Oh wait, actually, I think we're not really doing that much seagull products. I think that's about it, eh? Uh, let's take a look at this one here next. It is a flip up origami flapping birds, uh, British Wildlife Collection, Little Egret, Coastal Mixed Prey, Feeding Flock 12 pack, 15 pounds 50. And I've actually noticed, look at how the logo is so different though. Actually, I should have shown you at the first place, I should have showed you at the first place though, but you see a difference here? The logos have got like, oh my goodness, look the eyes are pretty much different and the face looks different. And if I grab one of the other flip up products, though, if I show you one of the lesser flatback girl, products here, look at that, we've just gone away from the Ash Ketchum logo to General 125, I didn't realise that until I've just shown you over there, look at that, Gen 125, I know this product costs about £13.50, and I have to say this is so much better having a new logo that looks more like CDR Link versus Ash Ketchum, I have to say that really is a very nice redesign change on the logo, combined with the hot weather too, and um, I have to say this hot weather should actually last until the, well, the end of next week though, or should I say the weekend, or should I say next weekend obviously, eh? But anyways, in this product we get like three of those sea breams, I believe these are sea breams, these sort of fishies though, eh? I'm trying to make sure I'm showing you very carefully though, without even going too quickly though, otherwise this video would be gone off the rails. <laughs> what a pun, eh? Because um, I've got trains right behind me, eh? Uh, but nevertheless, these guys look quite nice. And we also have prawns as well, or shrimp, what are we going to say, eh? I believe they're more like prawns, though, but um, here they are. And they're very prawny sort of designer, eh? And um, also more and more of those. Amazing. i also got a third one here as well. That also looks good indeed. I have to say, I'm so glad it's the summer holidays. I mean, let's just hope we can't beat it for the sake of being like that one, eh? There you go, there's the little egrets flying like that. Yeah, you can see them flying through the sky. I think I saw one of those at Bartley Reservoir. They're actually quite nice and common to look at, eh? Beautiful, these guys. Beautiful. And uh, I definitely say that um, little egrets may have some sort of weird pattern on the front of their heads, which I would call them the laws. And strangely enough, the eyes are a bit bigger on each side. Well, it's strange that sometimes one eye on the other side can be a bit bigger and a bit longer than the other one though, but um, who knows, I might be completely and utterly wrong. I'm just looking straight forward at the trains though, because I'm trying to make sure that the trains are nicely re re-railed though, I suppose, eh? But uh, nevertheless, it's quite amazing now, so I'm just flapping those egrets though, in a very quick manner. And before I should go though, I should make sure that, um, there you go, they all have names though. And also, look at that, they also got nice feet detailing as well. On the back here as well. It's like a grey, yellow sort of colour combination, eh? It's quite strange that the yellow toes on the little egret are actually not that visible though. Uh, not all the time, mate, but, um, well, you get the, the, the point that I'm just saying in this video, eh? <laughs> just, just what I'm actually thinking of, eh? Okay, that's that product done. Uh, moving along, we might take a look at this one here. Speaking of herons, uh, we're going to take a look at this Pacific Reef Heron or Egret dual colour variations and mixed sea prey 12 pack, which costs about 16 pounds. And there's the back of the packaging like that. Why well, would I put seashells or scallops though? If it's put away. That's quite a bit bland, eh? But anyways, let me just take a look at the product and see what we have. And the fishies are going to be based on snappers or bream again, though. I believe that would be very, very nice. There you go, that's what we have. 
based on the Australasian Silver Snapper Seabina, I think that's what they're called, eh? And thank God for the beach theme, this is so, so nice. And look at this, we've got the dark form. <laughs> Quite nice, eh? Um, remember I did the Western Reef Egrets that I did in the previous video? They were all in their dark form, but we've also got a light form of the Pacific Eastern Reef Egret Heron birds, I suppose, eh? They're in a darker form, eh? Very nice. And we've also got this one here. Oh, it's just got the fish, eh? It's very, very nice. We've got that one here. It's like a lot of form. Looks like a little egret with a yellow beak. And it's also got yellow feet. If I can show you to you quickly, eh? Much nicer manner, eh? And uh, I have to say, that looks so, so nice. I love the detailing, like so. I have to say, this is really good and cool, eh? Obviously, it's got the same flappy me mechanism and the same flappy design as those um, little egrets. As they are closely related, of course, eh? And we've also got some scallops. It's a bit of a bland idea, eh? But um, this scallop here, the orange one, looks a lot more... I would just say a lot much more unusually designed compared to this pink one. Strange, isn't it? I'd have to say that the way it's been designed is so amazingly unusual. And I'm going to drink more water again because it's boiling hot outside. Mm. My god, this does feel like Ho Chi Minh City <laughs> in Vietnam. My goodness me, it's so dingy as well though. Outside of the say, it's very dingy. Um, anyways, we've got two more of these, but I'm a bit too lazy to flap those. Anyways, we've also got those crabs. I believe they're based on the brown land crab. Okay, so they look quite nice. It's a very different species of crab. Uh, I have to say, uh, they look quite nice. Obviously, that's what the underneath sections would look like there. A bit of a brownish, ochre sort of greyish colour, I believe, though, with the feet as well. If I show it to you quickly, eh? Okay, there's the underside of the eye. There's the other side. Please don't get confused with the spiders, though. They're just crabs. Uh, anyways, we've got a couple of those fishies here next, obviously. Uh, they're based on sea breams, I believe. Though. It's a different species of sea breams. We've got red tails at the back. Pretty amazing. And they look like goldfish with their orange like colorizations. And I believe they have like a yellow colorization on their eyes, though. wonder why they've got that magic up sort of design, though, on the face. A bit absurd, but um, strangely enough, we've also got the crabby Pokemon designs. Well, I don't know why there are some Pokemon elements being kept under those toys, but nevertheless, it still looks quite cool. Uh, having a different bird of such and such and whatnot, though. I have to say, this is quite amazing now, obviously, eh? And strangely enough, it really is pretty much amazing once I'm doing a whole bunch of flip flap toy birds and fish as well. And speaking of fish, I've actually found a very nice idea. Look at this! It's a flip-up origami pet. Tropical Sumatran Tiger Bob Fish School. 12 pounds. It costs about 13 pounds. And there's actually different colour variations. And not all versions are seen. Oh, look at this. It says, Not all versions are seen as artwork. Oh, okay. It makes sense now. So, it's just the models. Well, the artwork of the models that they're based on is not really that much of it, eh? But nevertheless, it looks quite cool. They come in 12 different colour variations there, which is very, very nice. And they're uh, pretty much named after the the big cat, the tiger, though. Sumatran tiger, obviously, though, which is like the smallest subspecies of what we think of tigers, eh? And, oh my goodness me. We've got a lot of different tiger barb colour variations. So, I started this one here first. I believe that's the most common colour. Along with this one here. They're much more native, I suppose, eh? white to yellowish brown or orange or whatnot I suppose eh? I don't think that's really orange though for a tiger barb. Here I believe is well just a, an orange plain looking tiger barb without its stripes. I think that's what tiger barbs are literally called for their stripes and their tiger like colorization. And not only that but I also think tiger barbs although they're very social fish they can also be aggressive in your aquarium so that's a green glow fish. And we've also got a green and blue colour combined fish. That also looks very, very nice as well. And uh, it's pretty interesting to look at, eh? And it's just a blue one with a, well, just a white, grey and red looking face. Okay, so it looks quite nice. The fins are red in all of the fins, obviously. They're the flippers, the, the tail and the dorsal fin. I have to say, 
I feel like we're getting more like, you know, maybe under 10 products A, which is quite amazing, maybe under 11. There's a red 1A, it looks quite evil, look at this 1A. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Looks pretty evil, that fish, eh? And uh, we've also got this one here, I believe it's a green platinum type tiger barb. I believe it's the colour rosation, I suppose, eh, of this fish. I'm pretty sure it's, um, I think it's turquoise, or is it blue-green, aquamarine, was it cyan? I can't tell which one of these colours is which, uh, but it looks nice. And then we've also got some of the albino and strawberry, um, um, how do you say it, colour variations of the tiger barbs. Look quite nice. And uh, they actually look very nicely detailed. This one looks like a, a candy cane for Christmas Day, obviously. Though. Lovely detail. This looks like a worker at a construction site and whatnot, though. Looks very weird and pink. And we've also got the yellow one. Well, still with red on it, though. But nevertheless, it's nice to have a huge collection of different fish. And strangely enough, it looks like they've got like yellow eyes. In, in fact, they have different eye color variations. Like, either they have like, you know, just plain black or yellow. That's what I'm thinking of, eh? I'm just repacking the fish, that's why I've just moved that aside, eh? Alright, I suppose. Oh my goodness me. It's getting quite hot eh? and hot as well, eh? So, um, I don't know about you, but I'm just feeling like I could just review tours in a bit of a short, lengthy amount of time. And strangely enough, it really is amazing. I have to say, copying this logo, well, obviously, from the Ash Kitchen style. Oh yes, uh, before I should actually go ahead and talk about the one, eh? Look at this! We've got lapwings! Hooray! It's a flip flop oil gummy, flapping birds, British wildlife collection. Look at this, it's a northern lapwing roosting family flock, an earthworm feeding frenzy, 12 pack, 11 pounds 99. And it's quite funny, I rarely ever cover lapwings, though, as flapping bird toys or anything else, though. It's quite amazing, though. And if I come in and unpack this, I should show you. Um, all of the great stuff around me, eh? We've got some worms as well. Crikey, O'Reilly's, we've got some worms, which is quite amazing, eh? Lovely creepy crawlies, eh? Very nice to have these guys around your compost bin. Obviously, they're fake cartoon earthworms, by the looks of it, eh? And as you were saying, the early bird catches the worm, as always, as per usual. And, um, I have to say that, um, Man, oh man, oh man, Crockies, I'm actually starting to feel like this toy view may start to end up very, very nicely though because of the way I'm doing it today. And, um, I definitely say that's the, um, the last of that product I should review, eh? We've got those lapwings here. Look at the quest detailing, I suppose, eh? I must have made it when we had a massive, well, it was actually just a short period of intense rain there. We had a downpour on Monday, which was quite amazing, eh? And uh, I have to say that the design on these lap wings they look very, very nice. And it also got some different designs. This is a, a sub adult. And uh, this is a juvenile. I believe juveniles have got much more of a shorter crest, I suppose. And uh, this one here is a male. A male northern lap wing. I presume it's like an adult. An adult lap wing there. This is quite amazing. It's funny, I rarely ever make lap wing products, I suppose, eh? Uh, well, we've got different colour combinations of purple, blue, and green. Lovely iridescent colours, though. It's like what I did with the um, red wattled lapwings that I did there in a previous video, which was quite nice of me, eh? It's funny, I rarely ever get those types of products, you know. Lapwings and some worms, six of each. Pretty interesting, eh? Now, lovely black detailing on the tail end, which is quite nice, and the pink feet, and also the tanned rump on the back day. Maybe I might be totally wrong, maybe it's not the rump. But, maybe it could be the back underside. Ha! <laughs> oh, I couldn't say the word butt though, but that's just what I'm trying to euphemise as I'm going along in this video, eh? Well, I think that's about it in this video, eh? I can't believe in how happily enthusiastic I am today, because I can tell you what, the weather is so nice and hot outside though, feeling a lot like, you know, tropical Malaysia as it all is, it is obviously, eh? You know, it's actually quite nice to um, just have a bit of a go at just pretty much having a good vacation. Or should I say staycation because we're in COVID time, sadly to say. I know we're going to be having a bit of a COVID crisis once we lift the lockdown on the 19th of July. Oh no, that doesn't look good, doesn't it, eh? But anyways, I have to say, changing from this Ash Ketchum style logo from Pokemon to something a lot more of a Zelda-ish... Uh, a CDI Zelda looking logo, for me, this is much better. You know, a logo that looks like CDI Link looking a lot more cheerful and 
colourful at the same time. I have to say, this is chronically better because I feel like that's the way I, w I really want to have in my future videos. And I have to say, this is so much better doing things like products like this. And I tell you a story how I made this video, eh? Right? And it feels like I had a lot of outtakes today. Eh? Oh, sorry, I was just scratching a bite in my lips today. Eh? But, um,. Strangely enough, when I was doing this video, there were loads and loads of outtakes for the fact that uh, I couldn't do the video that well, and the computer was pretty much, um, pretty much very sensitive to um, hot weather though, but nevertheless, I think it's working quite fine, eh? Anyways, if you really have enjoyed this very nice hot tropical weather toy view, eh, please give this video a like or a double like, subscribe for more for videos on YouTube, and as always, I don't often vlog in my videos though, but hopefully I can get as many vlogs as I can throughout the rest of the summer holidays, and as always, if you really like my fast talking, thanks for watching, and... Bye for now. And stay cool as always as per usual though. Bye.